David Grasso here at Salt with Chris Loeffler of Caliber. How you doing? Doing great. Thank you for having me. So we're here to talk about Opportunity Zones. Absolutely. For people who don't know what that is, what is that? Opportunity Zone investing is the best opportunity in the history of the country, at least in my lifetime, to help communities that need capital, to help grow economic development, add more jobs, improve housing that don't normally get attention or get attracted to capital. So why, why is it important policy? Well, I think it's really important because there are plenty of great businesses that could grow, microbreweries, local swim schools, education, entertainment, you name it. They don't always have the best opportunity to, to get the money they need to grow their business, and this gives a tax incentive for investors to invest in these types of companies. And this was part of tax reform, of course, in 2017, right? Yeah, it was a fantastic policy. Both sides of the aisle passed the, passed the bill, and I think it was the smartest thing I've seen in a long time. So a lot of people are concerned that all this rush of money, especially in distressed areas, will kind of like ignite gentrification. What do you think about that and do you think some of those fears are overblown or are they? That was my first concern when we saw the okay. policy. We actually joined the community foundations and the community development groups in our in our state to make sure that we didn't have that issue. Um, and what we found was most of the, the areas are actually industrial, commercial. Um, and so, oh, the, so there's not even a lot of local residents? Yeah, there? We, 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 we ran after this problem thinking that it was going to be a big problem and it actually wasn't, at least in the areas we're investing in. So, you know, in, in, in brief, explain to me, like, through a very simple investment, how it works. So, super simple investment. We're right. a real estate investor. We just bought an entire, essentially, downtown Main Street of a historic area. Oh, that's that we're cool. We're pulling back to brick, making it beautiful again. It's happening at the same time of a new university coming into town. And by acquiring these buildings and these properties, we're able to offer lease incentives to help grow local businesses. And because the program is a 10-year program that gives us lots of time to develop our business plan and invest differently than we normally would. So what's your advice for young people who maybe, you know, rode this wave of, you know, the stock market, et cetera? Is it a good time to kind of take your money and parlay it into an opportunity zone? Well, Uber's IPO, Lyft, Facebook, you name it, a lot of people are coming to us. They own this stock. They have no tax basis. They have all this capital gain, and they'd love to own some real estate. This is a great way to do it.